Hey guys, it's Alec Torelli, and welcome back to an episode of Ask Alec, where I take your questions and answer them here in short videos. Today's question uh, comes from a conversation I had with one of my clients, and he was new to online poker, and he was playing in a few of these different online rooms, and he had a conversation with one of his friends, some of his some of his group, and they were seeming to notice situations where the cards on the board created more action. So they just felt like there was a lot of action in these online games and it led them to have a discussion about, you know, is online poker rigged? I'd like to share them here in a video because I know it's something that so many people ask me about that are new to online poker or that take a lot of bad beats or that see some ridiculous hands or they just feel like there's a lot of action in online poker. And so I'd like to explain why I think some of these things are and give you my take on it. So the first thing I'd like to say is that I really, truly have no idea um, if, like, with 100% certainty if if poker's rigged or not. Like, I just can't know that because I can't audit code. So I'm not qualified to audit the code or the algorithm of the random number generator shuffler that supposedly all the online poker sites use. So because of that, I can't say with certainty about this, and I don't think anyone can, unless you are capable of, uh, unless you have that capacity as a programmer, as an, as an IT engineer. Um, but what I can say is a, a few, like I can shed light on why people think some of these things, have these sort of thoughts and have these ideas about uh, taking more bad beats, or there's so much action, or I never went online, and all these things. So I'd like to address a few of these concerns to hopefully provide some perspective about this conversation. The first one is, you know, I can't win online. So the reason you can't win online is because the games are tougher, the games are different, you're probably not used to it, and frankly, you're just probably not good enough to win in the online games. That's just the harsh truth. So if you're winning in your live, you know, home games with friends, or your, your one-two game at the casino, and then you hop into a one-two game online and start losing, well, uh, you know, the live game is nine-handed, there's a bunch of donkeys, a bunch of people limping in, playing poorly. You go into a six-handed online cash game that's the same size, it's probably ten times as hard, so your win rate's gonna be smaller, you're probably a losing player, you probably haven't adjusted to the technical game theory aspect of the game, probably not used to getting three bet a lot often, probably not used to the small blind three betting or folding instead of calling, probably not used to playing in four bet pots, not used to playing in very aggressive games where people are representing hands in spots where they're not, probably not used to getting check raised on the river, a lot of these things that are happening in the streets online, uh, and I've been playing a lot of online poker, if you watch some of these Alec in Action vlogs, I've been playing high stakes online for a while, and I know very well how these games play. I coach a lot of people playing these games, and so the games are a lot tougher. It doesn't say they're not beatable. There's plenty of bad players, and the games are beatable, um, but they're just different. It's an adjustment. It's kind of like going from, you know, clay court tennis to hard court tennis. You're not just going to be, like, the best player in the world on both surfaces unless you, like, spend a lot of time dedicating yourself to those games, or if you're, like, a Broadway singer, you're not just going to go be a pop star. I mean, right? It's just, like, it's just a different beast. I think it's important that people understand that hurdle that they have to overcome and understand that if you're losing it online, it's because probably not a winning player. And that's just like the harsh truth. Uh, the second thing is why you take so many bad beats. Well, there's a couple reasons. One is if you're playing like micros and you're playing against bad players, uh, people play a lot of bad hands. And so you're going to take more bad beats because people are in there with worse cards. And so just by the sheer law of numbers, you're going to be ahead more often and you're going to take bad beats more often. The other reason, frankly, is is just the sheer number of hands that you see. So let's let's imagine that you're like, you know, you have an um, M3 BMW. Cool. Like you're driving in, um, I don't know, Provo, Utah. And you're like, okay, why don't I see any M3 BMWs? I don't really see that many M3 BMWs. Then you, t you take a road trip and you take your M3 BMW to LA. And you're like, holy shit, everyone has an M3 BMW. Why is that? And you're like, well, there's just so many more cars in LA, there's so many more people that have that car in LA that you're just seeing that car more often. So where am I going with this? When you're playing live poker, you play 25 hands an hour. And so the number of bad beats you're gonna take are a function of the amount of hands you play, right? You're only gonna take a percentage of the hands you play are going to be bad beats, it's just a law of numbers. But what happens when you're playing online? You go from playing 25 hands an hour on one table to maybe 60, 70 hands an hour on two tables. So you're playing 150 hands an hour. So you're playing, you know, five, seven, ten times as many hands depending on how many tables you play. So what's going to happen? Just like, you know, seeing 
more M3 BMWs when you know you have an esoteric car, but you see more of those cars when you go to a city like LA, you're going to see more bad beats when you're playing so many more hands. Just a law of numbers. So it seems psychologically like, oh my gosh, I'm taking so many more bad beats because you are, but it seems to you probably like you're taking more bad beats as a percentage when in reality, it's just the mind. It's the way the mind works. We're taught to like only worry about the problems. We, you know, evolutionarily, we don't worry about things that don't pose risk or cause problems, right? We worry about like if there's a saber toothed tiger. So we're worried about like bad beats. We're focused on the negative and it's very common to like only remember the things that sort of shock our system that are like outlier examples, things that are that don't live up to our expectations. So when you have a strong hand, you expect to win the pot. And when whenever you take a bad beat, something doesn't live up to your expectation and that sort of shocks the mind and you remember that. So that sticks with you. And because that's happening more often, it seems perceptually like online poker is rigged when in reality it's just a law of numbers. So I think there's explanations for a lot of these things. Like, so why does the turn, why do cards create more action in online? They don't necessarily create more action. Again, it's just like a law of numbers. Like in live poker, the game is very slow. The pace of the game is very slow. It takes a long time for there to be a big pot because you only play 25 hands an hour. You're playing nine handed people. Um, like the collective psychology is to be more tight in live poker because you know, they're facing you, they're, they're with you in person. They don't want to bust against you when they see you. Uh, people don't bluff raise the river as often. People aren't check raising as often. People aren't three betting and four betting as often. So the game plays tighter, it plays slower. The pots are smaller relatively, it's less aggressive. And so it takes a long time for there to be a lot of action however you want to define that. In online, it's different. You can't see the other player. You're playing six max. The, pass, the pace of the game is faster. People are bluffing more. They can just, you know, it's anonymous. So there's no, there's no um, societal pressure. There's no like fear of looking bad. There's no, there's less ego involved because they're not going to look bad if they lose a big pot to you. They can just close their eyes and click a button. Maybe they're drinking, maybe they're tilting, maybe they're distracted. There's so many more reasons why the games are aggressive. And because the games are more aggressive, it's going to seem like there's more action. Again, it's also the law of numbers. You're playing so many more hands that you're going to be in pots that are more aggressive. So my client was saying like, well, you know, the, the, the sites are kind of like rigging it to be more aggressive um, because they want to rake more money. Um, but it's just like, it's not, it doesn't make sense to me. It's not a long-term sustainable strategy because yes, they can like short-term, you know, have an algorithm that creates more aggression and then rake more money. But like, it just it's just not as profitable for them to just have a fair algorithm and rake the millions of dollars they're going to rake anyway. So I guess that's my thought on it. It's just like it doesn't make sense from a game theory standpoint for them to do something that's not in their long term interest. It doesn't mean there's not bad actors in online poker. Like we see things where like the ultimate bet scandal where like people are super using there's outlier things that happen. And I think those things get extrapolated to them seem like that's the standard when these are actually the exception to the rule. I think the, the standard is that the, you know, the game is fair. The host operators want the game to be fair. They security is a big priority. And I think that that's like the norm in online poker. So my personal opinion is I wouldn't really be worried about it. And if it is rigged, uh, it's not rigged necessarily against you. It could be rigged for you, but nobody tells, I've never heard someone say online poker is rigged for me. I've only heard people say it's rigged against me, but why is that? It's gotta be rigged for someone. So let's say it's rigged to create more action. Well, it could create more action for you. Maybe you're the one that's playing the seven, six suited and it creates more action for you and you bust the aces. Like maybe, right? Like it could be rigged for you. So I guess the strategy is regardless of, you know, the strategy is that to focus on the quality of your decisions and forget about the rest. I'm not saying you should play in games that you know are rigged, but given that we nobody knows and you're never going to know unless it comes out as a scandal that you see something like Ultimate Bad where it's a clearly, okay, it's clearly rigged, uh, you kind of just have to trust it. Like if you're willing to take that step and you're willing to trust online poker, uh, you're going to have to trust it. So the moment that you decide to play online, step into the mindset that the games are fair because if you're thinking that the games are rigged it's only going to hurt you it's going to it's going to limit the quality of your decisions and you're going to suffer you're not going to play as well and you're going to be in a bad mental state because every time you lose you're going to be wondering if it's rigged thinking it's rigged blaming the luck when instead you should be focusing on the quality of your decisions you should be focusing on how you can play the hand the best way possible what can you do to adjust your game what can you do to study and improve and beat your opponents and to get better at the game of poker so i wouldn't worry about it if it's rigged, I would like to think I'm like a glass half full guy. I would be like, maybe it's rigged for me. Uh, maybe that could help you. But I honestly don't think it's rigged. I wouldn't really worry about it being rigged, frankly. And um, 
I would just focus all of my, you'd be much better served instead of blaming all of your tension and energy and thinking about how the game is rigged against you and how the cards are there to create more action to, 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 to you know, build bigger pots so they could rake more. You'd be far better off just spending that same mental energy studying the game to improve, to make better decisions, to win more money. Thanks for your attention. I hope you like this video. Please give it a like if you do. Subscribe to our channel. More awesome content is coming your way from Conscious Poker. Thanks for your attention. We'll see you in the next episode of Ask Alec.